So greetings, it is Mike's from livemyassoff.com and I am in Key West. Uh, and there's this very touristy <laughs> thing that you must do when you come here. <laughs> now, I haven't been here 28 years, so I don't feel so bad. Um, but uh, they have this, uh, this buoy, basically, and I know you've seen pictures of it. And basically, it is this, uh, it's this, it's not a real buoy, right? It wouldn't float, but it's like this, it looks like a buoy. And it's got uh, this statement on it, which is southernmost point in the, in the U.S. And uh, continental U.S., I guess you could, you could call it, because technically, apparently, if you have bridges between islands, then you're still in the continental U.S. So therefore, if we were to make a bridge between Los Angeles and Maui, that would be in the continental United States all of a sudden. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to go over there. But here's, here's the really the cool part is I talked before about how there is this euphoric recall, right? And nostalgia and that sort of thing. And you look back on times in your life that were pleasant and you're like, oh, I wish I could create, recreate that somehow. And as part of that, um, I was thinking, okay, well, I need to not have that expectation, right? Expectation, pre premeditated resentment. Um, and so I wanted to be, you know, open-minded and be able to enjoy everything I have. Now, the good news is, is that there are still things, I think this is hilarious, actually. I just got to show you this. How freaking funny is that, right? I never thought of that. I mean, I see, you know what's funny? So I see the same t-shirts here that I see in friggin' Pattaya, which is six-pack coming soon. Uh, I don't need Google, my wife knows everything. I mean, there's one guy that makes all the t-shirts and ships them all over the world. It's actually kind of ridiculous. A anyway, so, it's shiny red ball. So, uh, <clears throat> so I'm pretty open to like all the new stuff. And for sure, there's new stuff here. And so, instead of there being like Steve's t-shirt shop, there's Crazy T-shirts, which is a store that is everywhere. Um, and the... Uh, the cool thing about that, actually, is it's not disappointing. So you could argue that, okay, well, if I'm here and it's not the same way that it was, then it's not going to be good. It's different. It's not, actually, it's not better. It's, it's, it's not worse. Actually, I would say, actually, it is a little bit better because there is something to be said for infrastructure. Um, and, uh, well, the other thing, too, is that the economy is stellar right now. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> in a tourist area, that just sort of... Uh, translates into everyone's in a good mood um, but there's also like you know 24 hour CBS everywhere right and so if I want a Snickers bar at 3 a.m. then I can go get one um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this place called two friends restaurant the reason is because 28 years ago I woke up one morning with my then girlfriend at the Honda key and we went over to two friends restaurant I remember it as being being pleasurable uh, back then there wasn't Wi-Fi, so maybe they have Wi-Fi now. <laughs> uh, also, my buddy Jay, he's like, so dude, if you go to Florida, you got to make sure that you have pineapple pancakes or pineapple waffles or something like this. And I don't know why that is, you know, um, other than he wants to inundate me with high fructose corn syrup and be like, ha, see? So anyway, so here it is. It was literally within like one block. I actually could have walked back through the alley instead of down to Ball Street. But so this is the place. And... Uh, and it will be interesting to see what my experience is. And whether it's good or bad, it really doesn't matter because it's, uh, it, here's the cool thing actually, is that all of this simply brings back good memories, um, which is nice, you know? I mean, I, I can reflect back on imperfections for sure in that relationship and obviously I'm not in it any longer and I got out of it a long time ago and tried it for like a year or whatever. In fact, she was supposed to move to California with me, but that went sideways. And, uh, and I was like, no, I don't want to do this. It was interesting, she was from Morocco. Um, and I met her at UMass Boston. And um, she, uh, as far as I know, my dad actually taught there after I left. And so as far as I know, uh, she finished up her bachelor's there. She was an electrical engineering student as I was. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna check out two friends. And, uh, and I'll let you know, and I've got a, a bunch of other videos. Um, it's the weekend now, it's almost March, I think. And uh, so I'm gonna be probably doing some tourist stuff for sure. I'm gonna have to show you Bahia Honda. That's another one of those sort of, I did it and I'm gonna do it again and, and look at the contrast things. Um, 
Uh, and I'll also go to the, to, the, to the tourist buoy. Oh, and I gotta get some postcards from my mom. I gotta get some postcards from my mom and uh, mom part two, which is Miriam, <laughs> my BFF from, uh, from Coronado, uh, who is isn't 85, she's 80 and five. <laughs> Just ask her. Uh, so anyways, Mike's from LiveMyAssOff.com. Say, I hope you're living the dream, because if you're not living the dream, you're doing it wrong. Ciao. So welcome to a hearty American breakfast. <laughs> so this will be kind of good. I got the key lime stuffed French toast, I think. Orange juice. Sorry, sorry. Oh, that's pineapple juice. And you know what the good thing about pineapple juice is? <clears throat> so hanging out at Two Friends Restaurant 28 years, years later. Feels pretty good. The food's pretty good. The bacon's really good. I'll let you know how the, the strawberries are. <laughs> Living the dream, baby. Living the dream.